Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to be the JSR223 sampler. So to add JSR223 sampler, we need to go to thread group and we need to add a thread group. We need to have a uh, sampler. From the sampler, we can select a JSR223 sampler. JSR223 sampler. So JSR223 sampler generally supports different types of uh, 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 languages. Bean shell, uh, JavaScript, Java, uh, Java, JavaScript, Groovy, uh, JXL. So these are the different types of uh, languages to support. Once you add your JMT, you need to select your respective language to uh, support your programming language, what you're looking for. Sometimes generally what people do, just they will uh, go for the Java and they won't select anything. Then the code will not work. So now I'm selecting a Java here, Java here, and I we can do multiple operations here. So I'm just I'm setting up a thing, yes equal to uh, welcome message, welcome message. Okay. Uh, now I want to uh, now yeah just uh, we'll add a listener here. Yeah. So in the JSR today sample we are doing some operations. So I'm executing the simple welcome message. It was executed successfully, but it will not show any impact on any other uh, other uh, samplers. So if you're using your JSR to do the sampler uh, to form to apply some logic and you want to pass that value to another sampler, so you cannot access your variable here or you cannot send this variable to another sampler until until unless until you make the changes. So the JSR two to sampler having a default uh, objects accessible are if these are variables what we're seeing about the uh, thing. Uh, Citrix about the uh, about the editor we have in a script there are variables. Uh, the last uh, black color line what we're seeing here. So it was a uh, context uh, vars properties sampler res sampler result log label file name parameters args and out. So these are the default objects which are accessible for your JSR223 sampler. So using sampler result, you can set a result to a sampler. The current uh, the sample result is nothing but the current result of this sampler. What whether you're using JSR or bean shell. So the current sampler, what you're using, the editor, it will set the response. So if you click on this, you will not have any response now. Okay, you don't have any response now. In this response body or response address, you don't have anything. So if you want to set up any uh, sample result or response for this, you need to use sample result, uh, sample result dot. So for this, to know the what are the methods available, you can search for, uh, you can search, you click on the, click on the JSA to the sampler, go to help, click on help. It will open the JSR to the sampler documentation. So from here, uh, to see the what are the methods available for the uh, JSR to the sampler, uh, what are the methods available for JSR to the sampler, go to sampler result. From the sampler result, uh, you can set the response. What you uh, I mean, what you want to showcase in the URL tree, or if you want to add any assertions on this thing, you can still add that uh, the content. So to set that message, uh, set that message. We taking this set set response address, set response code, set response data. Set term response data as thing. So I'm taking this as uh, this thing. I'm taking this method. You got that. Now I'm say I need to send the data here as a byte array. So I'm taking yes dot get bytes. Get the bytes here. Uh, initially we don't get that in your view response body. Okay, we didn't get anything in your response body. Now we will run it. Another sampler. Uh, it was failed. Maybe the method name or, or this thing is different. Sampler result of set data. Uh, so just capital S. So I will make this small as here. Uh, uh, run it again. So it was that. So we got the welcome message. So if you want to see that in your response, then we can do that. So even if you want to add, if you want to add some specific uh, uh, condition, if you want to see the some statement, how much time it was taken, you still we have a control to do that. So by default, Jmeter will give the 
the all code response time for the time uh, which was taken to execute in this code so if you are doing some rest call or some code some bad job execution or some different statements and if you want to uh, test uh, show on to me if you need the uh, response time for the respect to transactions in respect to actions you can add a sample result dot start time and you will have an entire file go to the uh, go to the sample you will have an control is start start time uh, start time you can set the start time there so if you do the sample start if you do a sample start uh, it will take the it will read the time stamp and you have to do the sample the stop uh, sample stop you will have that method in here sample stop sample stop sample yes sample end i guess sample start you will have sample end set end time start time so you'll have that a method you need to go through the sample pass sample end so we have sample end which will end that time which will take the timer here uh, if you want to get the specific time here if you want to get the specific time between specific time for the two statement which are executing in your jsa sampler still we can achieve by using sampler start and sampler end so if you are using only uh, jsa to the sampler uh, without any start time and time it will give you the response time for the time taken to execute all the J content in your jsa to the okay uh, now yeah we have we got the response and you will get you will get the time time for that also if you add the specific time you will have it uh, duration of the short sample as well and uh, uh, if you want to add a request to your sample so if you want to you now you don't have anything in your uh, request body so you have a code in your uh, the sample what the can the code what we have in a sample uh, we are seeing it in our uh, request tab so if you want to modify that content still we can modify that using a sample object sample object and if you want to log anything to a logger we can use log dot log dot info for info log dot error for error log dot one for warning log dot debug for it for doing a debug so these are the uh, four loggers we have available so if you want to add your variable so now uh, i want to add this message to my next sampler next sampler to uh, add this, uh, this thing so we need to uh, first we need to use we need to set a variable here last dot put Last dot put is object which will uh, transfer your uh, JSA to the sampler uh, variables to a JMeter. Now I'm giving a variable name as a message, and uh, uh, this year I will put as a smallest. Okay. Uh, now uh, you will see the difference. So I'll take the uh, debug sampler now. So first I will comment this. I will comment this. Uh, we'll run it. Go to debug sampler. Response data. These are the only variables we have. We don't have variable. We don't have any external variables. So if you now I will enable this code. Uh, and if you run this, if you run this, we get a debug sampler here. And the debug sampler we have variable now message. So we can use this message uh, variable anywhere. So to transfer your uh, 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 your JMeter variable to uh, JSA two two three variable to another sampler down to the current JSA two three sample, we need to use last dot put. So this is how we can use JSA two three sample. Thanks for listening, friends.